The Indian Air Force has requested Dassault Aviation to integrate Indian weapons on Rafale fighter jets and both have now zeroed down on the Indian Astra MK-1 Beyond Visual Range or BVR air-to-air -air missile. The strategic collaboration between the IAF and the French firm is aimed at enhancing combat capabilities of IAF Rafale squadrons by equipping the fleet of 36 fighter jets with Made in India Astra missiles. What this means is that India can not only cut dependence on foreign imports during a conflict, lower costs as well as boost export potential to countries like Armenia. Indian Defence News reported that these indigenous missiles are set to replace the French MICA missiles currently deployed on the Rafale to enhance overall combat flexibility. At 60 to 80 kilometers, the MICA missile is short to medium range missile, while at 80 to 110 kilometers, the Astra has a slightly better range and superior capabilities. The Astra is also positioned as a superior alternative to the widely used Russian R-77 missile, as well as the R-73 missile, which IF Wing Commander Abhinandan fired to shoot down a Pakistani F-16 jet before his own Soviet-era MiG-21 was hit. The Indian Air Force, which is currently focused on incorporating domestically developed armament, also sees Astra missile as a cost-effective alternative to the much-hyped Meteor missile. But that is a little bit of a stretch. The Meteor has an acclaimed no-escape zone of 60 km for enemy jets and a 200 km operational range at speeds of Mark IV. Surprisingly, the Indian Astra MK-1 missile has a higher speed of Mark 4.5 compared to the Meteor but currently lacks in range. It could be matched by the Astra MK-2 missile under development which is said to have a range of 160 km providing enough standoff capabilities. The integration of Astra MK-1 on Rafale will be done in several phases. First, the captive flight trials will begin in mid-2025, which will see Astra MK-1 being carried by Rafale without being launched. This phase will assess the compatibility of the aircraft systems as well as aerodynamics, hardpoints and system integration. Meanwhile, Dassault Aviation is working towards a software patch to ensure seamless communication between the missile and Rafale's radar and onboard systems crucial for effective missile operations. After captive trials, the missile's performance will be evaluated by live firing tests, which will entail guidance and engagement capabilities. The successful integration of the Astra missile on a world-beating fighter jet like the Rafale will also boost this Indian missile's export potential among other nations that operate or plan to acquire the Rafale jets, such as the Greek Air Force, Egypt or Qatar, Indonesia, or even the UAE, among others. The Astra BVR missile is engineered by the DRDO and manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited. Vinod Kumar, general manager of the BDL, recently stated, quote, Astra is currently in production and we and Spade receiving additional orders. We are also exploring the possibility of exporting the Astra missile, unquote. At ranges exceeding 100 kilometers, it is also capable of operating in complex electronic warfare environments. Known for its active radar seeker as well as infrared homing, the missile features an advanced guidance system to ensure accurate targeting and interception of enemy aircraft. When compared to China's BVR missiles, the P-12, which has a range of 60 to 100 kilometers for the domestic version and 70 kilometers for the export version, India's Astra is way ahead. However, China's PL-15 has a range of 200 km and has a flight speed of Mark 5, higher than Astra MK-1 but could be matched by the Astra MK-2, which is expected to be ready by 2026. The Indian Air Force remains confident in the indigenous missile technology and placed an order for more Astra MK-1 air-to-air missiles in August of this year. According to Jains, the production clearance will support deliveries of the missile to IF squadrons operating the LCA Tejas Mark 1s and the Sukhoi Su-30s. In August 2023, the Tejas MK-1 successfully test-fired this air-to-air -air missile off the coast of Goa from an altitude of 20,000 feet. After the successful launch, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh hailed the progress in reducing IF's dependency on imported weaponry. 
Astra had earlier been approved on the Sukhoi 30 MKIs with 270 of these jets, they form the backbone of the Indian Air Force. Now, this means nations currently operating jets like the Su-30 also become potential customers for the Astra missile. Now, these specially include Southeast Asian nations like Vietnam, Malaysia or Indonesia. Even Armenia is evaluating the Indian missile for its own Sukhoi fighters after investing heavily in other Indian weaponry including Akash Air Defense System, Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launchers and ATAG's artillery guns, among others due to persisting conflict with Azerbaijan over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Meanwhile, in 2025, the DRDO will continue developing the Astra Mk2 with a dual-pulse rocket motor which dramatically increases its range to 160 km or more and improves skill probability. Apart from the Tejas Mk1As and Su-30s, the Astra Mk2 will also be integrated on the Tejas Nk2s and 5th generation Amka stealth fighter jets showcasing their multi-platform capabilities. If you found this news report informative, then leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.